Boris Becker arrives to find out whether he will go to jail for bankruptcy crimes. His Wimbledon tie, a reminder of another time and a very different court. In 1985, he became the youngest player to claim the Wimbledon men's singles, winning the hearts of the British public along with the trophy. He went on to win it twice more. I think the love uh, for tennis has never vanished. You know, Even after his sporting career, he continued to entertain British audiences with his energetic commentary and punditry. I don't think, you know, we ever want our sort of idols, do we, to fall from grace like this because we've seen him, you know, number one in the world, winning Grand Slams, uh, a commentator, a coach, he coached Novak Djokovic. So he's done so many things in his life and there's always been this kind of energy and personality, charisma about him that uh, you can't help but like and want to follow. At one point, he was thought to be worth nearly £40 million, but Becker blames an expensive divorce and lifestyle commitments for draining his funds. In 2002, he received a suspended sentence for tax evasion in Germany, then, when he was declared bankrupt in 2017, he legally had to declare all of his assets. But he missed some. A property in Germany, a £700,000 loan, shares in a tech company, and some 350000 that he transferred to others, including his ex-wife. In court today, the defence argued that Boris Becker's public humiliation was already a severe punishment. But sentencing him, the judge said he had shown no acceptance of his guilt. There may have been humiliation, she said, but no humility. And she sentenced him to two and a half years in prison. He was nicknamed Boom Boom for his impressive serve. Now, what Boris Becker is serving is time. Alex Barker, Five News.